Returning to their hotel, the finalists meet up with Judge Anupam Sharma, who will mentor them during their first week in India. Hello. Hey guys, so how was it waking up in Mumbai? Oh, it's great. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Let's have a chat. Okie dokes, team six. You're the lucky ones out of thousands of Australia, I don't have to tell you. But if any one of you is thinking of even relaxing for a bit, the games have just begun. Because now you're in real world, you'll be meeting people who actually make a difference here. You are going to see the best and worst of Mumbai. Do not judge, just go with the flow. From the billion dollar houses to the slums, from the Lamborghinis through the cycle rickshaws. Feel energized, feel scared, because on Friday, two of you are going to head back to Australia. Okay? No, not okay. <laughs> so the real journey begins. And I'll see you later. All the best. Woo! See you guys. Peace. In just five days, the finalists will perform live to the Indian public for the first time, after which two will be sent home. Believe me, girls and boys, like, you know, whosoever is leaving on Friday or Saturday don't know, that person will be a completely changed person yeah. because you are going to learn a lot during these five days. You will know what hard work is and if you really are determined to do anything and you are hard-working people, I think you can do it. At the end of an intense first day, it's causing some of the contestants to doubt whether they've got what it takes. I've been taught to act in a sort of really professional, regulated sort of manner because I am a lawyer. And then now I'm trying to jump into this whole different world of being completely free, uninhibited, vulnerable, just putting it all out there. You know, it's hard, but it's like the biggest challenge I'm facing in my life right now. Their first taste of Bollywood has been confronting, and it's only going to get tougher. Tomorrow, they face a dance class with a Bollywood legend. Day two for the six Australian finalists in Mumbai. They're about to have their first ever Bollywood dance class, where they'll learn the routine they have to perform live at the end of the week. But their route to the venue isn't what they expected. This is just really hot. Oh. I know. I'm really struggling. doing and look at our lives compared to this. Yeah, I feel like a piece of shit. Why are we here? We're here to freaking dance. Can't do this. Why are we walking through this muck? Oh. It just makes me feel like a piece of shit. What am I doing with my life like to help this situation? I've done nothing. But this is the opportunity. This is what we got a chance to do. We want to make that chance come true. We've got to do. We've got to do something. Mm, have you seen the sign? <gasps> Shamak. It's Shamak Dawes Institute for the Performing Arts. I'm so excited. He's such a lovely dancer. Taking the lesson is world-renowned choreographer Shamak Davar. Hi, I'm Sarah. Roberts. Hi, Sarah Roberts. And he starts by telling the group a few home truths. The thing is that I just want you to know the truth about Bollywood. It's very tough. It's very demanding. There's a lot of competition. Everyone is in a, in a mad, mad, mad scramble to reach the top. Here, there's a lot of struggle. You know, it's a tough place and it's not going to be easy. When I teach Hrithik or Aishwarya, do you know that they work harder than anybody as a dancer? Hrithik and Aishwarya did a film with me called Dhoom. Do you know that Hrithik used to drive me nuts? He would not stop rehearsing till I would say, okay, Hrithik, stop, <laughs> stop. So at that level of stardom, he was working like a man possessed, and that's why I respected him. 
so it's not so easy as you think it is. Okay, so I'll teach you a little routine today and uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, pa, 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 pa. Hand goes forward, out, cutting. Leg goes forward, yeah. Kick, kick. In, in, out. In, in, out. Don't tell me it's difficult. Okay? Now I'm gonna take a turn. It's a very simple thing. Look in the front. Pa! You're not looking, you're not concentrating. For dance, you have to concentrate. You can't let it go. Pa, 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 pa. This is not really tough. This is what beginners do. Come on, come on. We're pushing you. Adding to the pressure is the fact that Shamak will be one of the three experts who will be judging their live performance at the end of the week. Up and out. In Bollywood, now the dancing has become more demanding. You have to get tougher now. Come on, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Bollywood films often feature item numbers, large song and dance performances unrelated to the plot of the film. And one of the contestants seems to be having trouble with the demands of the routine. Why are you feeling bad? I'm not feeling bad. I'm just trying to... If you can't pick up a step, don't worry. Don't feel apologetic. Okay. You're learning with me, right? Yeah, yeah. So don't worry. Let's go. Five. Five, six, seven, eight. Kick, kick, and place, and kick. And it's not just Sharon struggling to get to grips with the routine. You can do this if you want, but don't be like this. Your energy is very powerful, but too much of a good thing is bad. This bulk on screen becomes double. double. If you don't lose weight here, you will look... Look at me. This is your audience. Don't forget your audience. No, it's this. Flex or flex? It's like your... your, your yeah. And give boy go! Oh, shit, right? Come on, get up, Jigen! Get up! Come in the front, because I think you're still... <laughs> She's still dazed. <laughs> Do you know, honestly, if this happens on screen, it's wonderful. Because Bollywood is full of emotion. It's full of... <laughs> yeah. I'm right. You sure? Yeah. And you'll put more effort in your performance okay. than you want? Sure. Maybe I'm softer than other people, more sensitive than other people, but people don't even have the opportunity to eat, and we're talking about being Bollywood stars and, you know, everything that comes along. I just felt really embarrassed and um, superficial and fake and st stupid. I just want to take my little friend for a walk. Love her. Oh, no, don't make me cry. Five, six, okay. five, six, so I love the way you felt the pain of the people who are in the slums and all. When you see people out there, they're worse off than us. You know, our pain is stupid pain. So you just have to remember that whatever it is, whatever pain you're going through, there's always someone worse off. And you have to be a little stronger now. Tell me about yourself. Well, I've just spent the last couple of years sort of questioning why, why I'm here, what am I trying to do in this world, where am I making my mark, and I think that's what's coming out today. Honestly, you can't run from your truth like I couldn't run from mine. The more you let it go, the more you don't hold on to something. If you don't let it go and give it away, then God can't put something in your hand that's beautiful because you're holding on to something. And you have to be a little stronger now. At the end of the day on Friday, you have to do something for me. Forget me for yourself. You gotta go buzz up with working hard on yourself. That's right. Thank you. Thanks. Lesson over, and Shamak ends with a pep talk. Now, by Friday, mentally, it should be in your muscle memory. That is what I'm looking for now, because if it doesn't work in a tough way, you will be left behind, I promise you. Now, I think you have to work very hard. The thing is that I do not look for dancers, I look for magic. Even if the dancer is not a great dancer, but there's some quality, you know? Okay, so I have to go now. Don't give me excuses on Friday. Okay? God bless. Thank you, Jamal. Best of luck. The entire group struggled learning their first authentic Bollywood dance routine. But Lucky's belief in her acting ability 
is what she'll rely on to get her through. My daughter wasn't listening to me and I started crying in front of her, that, something like that. And she, she became so emotional and she listened to me. So sometimes acting works in day-to-day -day life as well. Why not? Why not? If we want something good for our children and if they're not listening to you, you act it. You act something and they listen to you and it works. It's for their betterment. Yeah. <laughs> The rest of the group head out onto the streets to clear their heads. You know what, dude, I'm a, I'm a self-taught dancer. I remember when I was young, right? I was watching Michael Jackson videos and my mom walks into the room and she's like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, mommy, I want to be like that guy one day. And she goes to me, oh, we can't make you white. I was like, no, I want to be a dancer. She's like, ah, oh, that's okay. <laughs> there are approximately 10,000 beggars in Mumbai and 50% are estimated to be children. Some work for organised gangs, and many have to pay daily protection fees to beg on the streets. Are you going to eat your lolly? I think she's a bit young to have a lolly. Yeah, put that on. You look very beautiful. Dude, you've got a bottomless pit of uh, minters in there, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be lovely if you could come over here and just give everyone, you know, like a bean bag? I mean, how cheap are bean bags? And just then they've got something to sit on and lie on, you know, not just the concrete. And, you know, a whole family could fit on a bean bag if they wanted to. It's just so simple, you know. Does that sound stupid? <laughs> so far, the classes have been a mixed experience. So Judge and mentor Anupam has arranged a surprise that he hopes will motivate them. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's this? Oh, dude, big, oh, whoa, dude, big Andy Studios? Bro, we're finally here, man. Whoa, 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 dude. Oh, dude. this is awesome. <laughs> oh, bro. He's taking them to the legendary ND Studios, where some of the greatest Bollywood films have been made. It's spread over 52 acres and still holds many of Bollywood's most famous movie sets. Now, today is a very special day, not only because you are at this Nitin Desai studios where the real things happen, but most importantly, we have got amongst us a true blue Aussie Bollywood success story. We have got Emma Brown Garrett. Yeah. Emma is all what you guys dream of, but what makes a difference is that she's converted her dreams into a reality. And she's going to be here answering your questions. And before you guys get too excited, I should let you know that she's also going to be judging you on Friday night when you perform <laughs> at <Burley. laughs> So I've been here for four years, guys, and I uh, just completed my third Hindi film and just signed my fourth, actually, the other day. So, wow. so any questions that you have, any advice that you'd like, any question, just let me know, and I'm more than happy to help. <laughs>